Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking about some of the different career paths that you can pursue as an astronomy major after graduation. I certainly considered several possible career paths when I was getting ready to graduate from college and I really do think that an astronomy major can go into almost anything. So let's start exploring some of the diverse career paths that astronomy majors can pursue. First, and this is the one that we're going to spend the most time on, we're going to talk about some careers that you might expect an astronomy major to go into, and we're going to start with the PhD Academia Teaching Research path. And that is the path that I was originally planning on going down. So the idea is that you major in astronomy, physics, and or something similar in undergrad, and you try your very best and get good grades and also get involved with research either in the summers or during the school year or both. So to expand on that a little bit, there are several astronomy research opportunities available for undergraduates. The first of which are REU programs and REU stands for Research Experience for Undergraduates. So REUs in astronomy and astrophysics are typically offered by universities and research institutions and they give students the opportunity to work on research projects under the guidance of experienced faculty members or researchers. And a really great thing about REU programs is that they often include stipends and also cover travel and housing expenses, whereas most other research opportunities for undergrads are unpaid. I'm going to put links to some astronomy and astrophysics REUs and other research opportunities down in the description for you guys so that you can look at some of these possibilities yourself. Another option to gain research experience as an undergrad is by seeking out internships and summer research programs. Many observatories, research centers, and space agencies, such as, of course, NASA, offer internships and summer research programs that are specifically designed for undergraduate students, and they allow students to work on ongoing research projects and gain real hands-on experience in several different areas of astronomy. Undergraduates might also be able to gain research experience with student observatories. So some universities have their own student observatories or access to nearby observatories and they might offer opportunities for undergrads to conduct research using telescopes and other astronomical instruments. The final strategy I'm gonna discuss here is collaborating with faculty members. And this is probably the most convenient way of attempting to secure some research experience. So what you'll do is approach professors or researchers in your university's astronomy or physics department and express your interest in conducting research with them. And if the stars are aligned, they'll have ongoing projects where they could involve you as a research assistant or at least provide some guidance on designing your own research project. In addition to the resources that I've included in the description, some good strategies for finding research opportunities are regularly checking university websites, astronomy organizations and research institutions, and also networking with professors, attending conferences and joining astronomy clubs or societies, which can lead to valuable research connections and opportunities. So all of that was an incredibly long-winded explanation of how you can gain experience so that you can then apply for PhD programs and have a pretty good chance of getting accepted. Now, if you complete your undergraduate degree but don't end up getting much, if any, research experience or your grades are a little bit lower than you'd like, there is an option called a bridge program or a bridge to PhD program, which is designed to provide opportunities for students from underrepresented backgrounds to enhance their skills and knowledge in astronomy and astrophysics with the goal of bridging the gap between undergraduate and graduate studies by providing additional training, research experience, and academic preparation so that participants are prepared for successful admission to PhD programs. That was a very, very long sentence. So now let's say that you've been accepted into a PhD program and you go through it and pass your thesis defense and earn the PhD degree. 
That just made it sound very easy, but in fact, it is very difficult. Generally, what happens after you earn your PhD is you do multiple postdoctoral positions in astronomy, each lasting about two to three years. And postdoc positions allow researchers to further their research and gain additional experience before fully establishing their independent research careers. So finally, once you've completed your postdocs, you'll typically seek out tenure track faculty positions at universities or research positions at institutions. You can also choose to go into teaching either at the university level or the community college or high school levels. Although you really only need a master's to teach at the community college level and a bachelor's to teach at the high school level. Now looking at some less obvious career paths, one potential career to consider is data analysis. So this would be jobs like a data analyst, business analyst, data scientist, data engineer, market research analyst, or healthcare data analyst. And those are just a few of the many possible careers in data analysis. So why are students with a bachelor's degree in astronomy good data analysts. Well, in pursuing a degree in astronomy, you learn skills such as data analysis and data visualization, as well as mathematics and more specifically statistics. There's also research and critical thinking skills in addition to problem solving and analytical thinking, communication and teamwork, and perhaps most importantly, computer programming. Some programming languages you might learn as an astronomy major are Python, IDL, and MATLAB. And once you learn one programming language, it generally becomes much easier to learn other ones as well. Now, another career that you can go into as an astronomy major is science communication. Science communicators inform the public with accurate and up-to-date scientific information engage and inspire people by showcasing the wonders of science, its discoveries, and its potential to improve our lives, build trust between scientists, researchers, and the public with clear and transparent science communication, and address misconceptions by debunking myths, pseudoscience, and misinformation and presenting evidence-based information instead. So why are people with a bachelor's degree in astronomy good science communicators? Well, in pursuing a degree in astronomy, you learn how to understand complex scientific concepts and explain them in your own words, write out your findings, orally present your findings, and create visuals that accurately represent your findings. Lastly, I believe that anyone with an astronomy degree would be great for almost any job in finance. Now, this might sound a little bit weird, but astronomy majors have many transferable skills and attributes that could allow them to excel in finance. First off, astronomy majors have great analytical and quantitative skills. Astronomy involves complex data analysis, mathematical modeling, and statistical techniques, and these skills are highly valuable in the finance industry where data analysis, risk assessment, and investment strategies require a strong quantitative background. Moving on, astronomy majors are trained to tackle intricate problems and find creative solutions. In a similar fashion, finance roles often involve identifying and resolving complex financial issues evaluating investment opportunities and mitigating risks. So the ability to think critically and solve problems is crucial in both fields. Additionally, astronomy requires a meticulous approach when collecting and analyzing data. Similarly, in finance, Paying close attention to details is crucial to avoid errors in financial models, calculations, or investment decisions. Accuracy and precision are highly valued skills in the finance industry. Astronomy majors also often develop programming and computational skills to work with large data sets, conduct simulations, and automate data analysis. In finance, proficiency in programming languages like Python or R can be beneficial for tasks such as data analysis, 
algorithmic trading, or developing financial models. Astronomy also involves conducting research, analyzing vast amounts of data, and drawing conclusions from observations. These research skills can be applied to financial analysis, market research, or evaluating investment opportunities. Lastly, astronomy... Hi, buddy. Lastly, astronomy requires a strong ability to adapt to new technologies, theories, and observational techniques. This kind of adaptability can be advantageous in the finance industry, which constantly evolves due to changing market conditions, regulations, and technologies. I do want to note, though, that while astronomy majors possess these transferable skills, Transitioning into finance may still require domain-specific knowledge and training. However, the skills acquired during an astronomy degree can still provide a solid foundation for learning and excelling in finance-related roles. So those were a few of the many potential career paths that an astronomy major can pursue after graduation. Hopefully this was informative or useful. Definitely be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more like this. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.